Hey YouTube, I figured um, I'm going to do a video on how to heat treat stone for napping. So uh, right here I have a turkey roaster and I got this at Goodwill for about $25 and it is a 18 quart Hamilton Beach 18 quart roaster oven and the dial goes up to 450 extra large capacity you don't have to have this one any old old roaster will work the older ones tend to be a little bit better than the newer models but uh, this one is kinda in between so uh, what I have this filled with is very clean sand that I got from Home Depot it came in a bag and I have the rest outside and uh, you want it filled you know probably want to leave about an inch and a half at the surface I don't have that much in because I don't have very big pieces to treat today so uh, the first, when, when you get your roaster the first thing you need to do is test it and uh, you want to see what places get what temperatures when the dial is turned to whatever you have it at <clears throat> so you need to get a barbecue thermometer this one only goes up to about 600 but that's all I really need because all I ever work with uh, that I need to treat are agate, jasper and some petrified woods and uh, they all fall within the 600 degree range so uh, what I did is I made a graph this is the graph I made and uh, here it says display and that is what it says on the dial so I turned it to 200 degrees after I took the pan out you want to take the pan out so all that's left are the coils and the sand uh, taking the pan out will make it about a hundred degrees hotter so uh, that's a good thing to do so I turned the dial to 200 degrees and left it for an hour and then I came back and I took the temperatures of all the spots in inside so in the center which is this area in here it doesn't get very hot it was only 134 degrees all four of the corners were pretty much similar so I wrote down 226 I just uh, averaged them out and uh, the front and back sides so that's this side and this side the front got to 195 degrees Fahrenheit and the back got to 224 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, the left and right sides got to and that's this entire area and the back entire area in the front right behind the dial there's no heat so don't put stuff there so uh, the sides got to 239 on the left side and 208 on the right side and that was all at 200 degrees and so I did that on every setting that the kiln has and I took the temperatures all the way up to 400 but I have another graph that's complete all the way to 450 so um you want to make a, a really good graph so you know what temperatures are inside your kiln when you're heat treating so uh, now we're going to talk about the types, you know, the different chunks and stuff that you can put in the kiln.